Hello everybody! Welcome to another Destroyer tutorial. This time in Tier 7, the Yudachi. I'm not gonna play it with Tanaka, the stealth torpedo captain, but with Kurita, uh, the gunboat captain with twist and track and 5.5 seconds gun reload if you use the mod 4 gun reload. And uh, in this configuration you have a 5km concealment and 17,000 hit points which is uh, quite a surprise for most enemy um, destroyers and cruisers because they don't expect you to use your guns efficiently. Um, they expect you to torp and run and stay hidden but they don't expect you to go into 1v1 uh, against other destroyers. And as you can see we have a Kagiro, Tashkent and Akasuki as enemy destroyers. Um, at least the Yudachi gunboat is able to uh, take on the Akasuki and the Kagiro with ease. So uh, you will see in this game how it develops. Enjoy the game and let's hop into this game. We're starting off uh, being a bit more defensive because the enemy is pushing. So we are launching some area denial torpedoes. Um, basically aimed on where these ships are heading to but not too accurate uh, because there uh, I expect one or two destroyers being around so you can see twist and track I'm uh, topping the twist and track position here and um, then I'm focusing on the um, cruiser and the battleship coming around so I'm using the top reload booster uh, to get a second salve off uh, why do I use the Torp Reload Booster in the beginning? Um, strategically, it totally makes sense to take off an enemy ship as soon as possible. So uh, I usually don't hold back my uh, torpedo reload till the very end. I use them pretty quickly uh, in, th in the beginning of the match. Um, usually I get one or two kills, um, so I make good, good use of it. This island is a good position to stop, smoke up and watch what's going to happen. They don't know I'm around so they probably don't expect my torpedoes. They have seen the other destroyer uh, which you can see on the minimap uh, northeast of me and myself and uh, they probably don't expect torpedoes from here so um, here are my first kills. And because I smoked up I can use my guns and you can easily see how fast they reload. They probably have one of the highest precisions of all tier 7 uh, destroyer guns. Uh, as you can see almost every single bullet lands where you aim at. So there's no dispersion and um, that is why with 5.5 seconds uh, reload and 5 guns you do about 2000 DPS, but these 2000 DPS they really hit. Unlike a Fletcher, for example, which is doing more DPS, but uh, every 20% uh, of the bullets, so one out of five, doesn't hit the target. So you can deduct 20 to 40% of the Fletcher's DPS because the, it simply doesn't hit the, the enemy ship. But uh, Yudachi does hit, and that makes it so dangerous. So I'm staying behind this island and you can see um, there should be two destroyers because my twist and track is pointing to the right and uh, somebody from the left is spamming torpedoes. But at first um, I want to make sure this Otago moves out and now is the time to focus and hunt the destroyers. What we want to have now is uh, we're trying to get into a one versus one situation with any of those. So whoever pops up first. Uh, is my aim and I'm you see the other torpedoes but uh, twist and track went to the left so I'm chasing the left one because the island to my right is uh, in between the Otago and myself so I'm pretty good uh, positioned for a one versus one and there is the Akasuki so let's start shooting stop the engine start reversing but we don't smoke up because we don't have a smoke and we wouldn't see anything so just keep gunning and you can see the Akasuki is trying to, to torp me because not a single shot was fired on me until now and um, because I'm reversing all the torpedoes uh, are going to miss 
and uh, you can see five seconds reload what they do with an Akasuki. So, what next? Um, we still have a destroyer here, could be the Tashkent, could be the Kagiro, but you saw two times four torpedoes coming from that direction, so it had to be uh, it has to be the Kagiro. And we have the Otago. Um, you don't want to engage the Kagiro while the Otago is alive, so first take on the cruiser and try to kill it before you take on the destroyer. Because if I spot the destroyer, the two ships will shoot at me and that will make my life unnecessarily harder. So let's focus on the Atago, drop some torps, smoke up, start shooting, and uh, my own cruiser and my own destroyer are still around, so hopefully they will assist and we're gonna kill the Atago before we move on and try to find this Kegiro. So what next? You can see Twist and Track is to my right and this could be a, the time to engage the Kegiro if there wasn't this cruiser to my left um, coming into my direction. So same situation as before, we first want to hunt the cruiser before we engage the Kegiro. So that's why I'm turning to the cruiser, waiting for my torpedoes and my smoke to be ready and hoping that my team on the left hand side of the map will assist a little bit but unfortunately as you will soon see the only one cruiser will assist slightly um, but that's enough for me to, to, to finish this cruiser here so we are watching the aim prediction to see where this cruiser is going to head and dropping some torpedoes mainly as a distraction because when we open the fire and the cruiser is busy maneuvering around our torpedoes uh, he loses about 5 to 10 seconds, that's probably two salvos because his, his turrets need to turn as well. And um, that's like three salvos of myself and uh, the cruisers don't take too much damage, so you can really do some decent damage with, uh, cru uh, with uh, destroyer guns. Now the Kagiro showed up, immediately we switch targets and start shooting at the Kagiro to prepare our uh, hunt, which will follow after we finish the cruiser. So the less HP the Kagiro has at the moment, the better. And we're still smoked up, so we are not in a rush. But um, the Surrey is coming back, so we need to be attentive, because if he is going to enter the smoke, uh, he will detect and probably crush us. So we need to move out of the smoke to have a visual. As I said earlier, the three ships to our left, they don't do too much uh, spotting because they are hidden by that island hunting the Bismarck. So I'm probably on my own with some assist from the second destroyer, which I will soon make use of because uh, the second destroyer is going to top the Surrey from from the front and I'm gonna top him from the side so he will be pretty busy to maneuver through, uh, through the torpedoes and um, what I'm doing now is I'm just launching some distraction torpedoes and this also is valid for the next set I'm launching because I'm not expecting to hit him but uh, again it will take 10 seconds for him to maneuver around and to align his guns again and that gives me a better survivability. So he's probably going 
into the smoke and expecting me into the smoke. But I'm far out, you see the torpedoes coming from the right, uh, from my teammate. And now it's time to open the guns and switch to AP because he's fully broadside to me and you can see how much damage the AP is doing. So it's really worse to uh, engage broadsided cruisers uh, if you have decent guns uh, on the destroyers. Don't be afraid. Um, the best um, distance is between 3 and 5 kilometers uh, and everything up to 7 I would engage. Uh, further away you better run off. So now we have the Kagiro uh, back to HE. But we don't really want to, to fight the Kagiro long distance. So that's why I stop shooting now. Uh, I want to get back my concealment because he doesn't have twist and track, I do. Uh, how do I know he doesn't have twist and track? Because I'm not located um, showing that he uses twist and track. Um, so we're getting concealment back and then we start the hunt. Uh, as you can see on the minimap, he's about to, to run off, but I quickly use the aim prediction to confirm that he moves out to the left now. And as soon as it is confirmed, I turn left and start the chase, aligning my guns to the right. Um, the Kegiro, which is running off, does only have uh, four barrels to the back, while I have five chasing him. And probably he's not in a gunboat fit, so his reload is like seven and a half, eight seconds, if not worse. And mine is 5.5, so my DPS, DPS is much higher, even though we have the same um, HP left. Again, some torpedoes as a distraction. Even a fleeing Kagiro needs to outmaneuver these torpedoes. Once again, you will be able to see how dangerous a Kurita fit Yudachi gunboat is with 17k HP health and 5.5 second reload. So the Kagiro doesn't uh, stand a chance with only four barrels back with slow reload. And um, again, Yudachi with Kurita is a great destroyer hunter, good HP, decent guns, really the most precision guns or the best precision guns in the game. I hope you get some new impressions and try some different fits um, aside from uh, standard Tanaka. Thanks for watching, leave your comments, subscribe, hit the like button and uh, looking forward to battle you in another battle outside. Bye bye, see you next time.